All right, guys, so this tip starts after you've already done your flap reflection, you've already done your alveoplasty for full arch for, um, for over dentures, right? So in, in this particular case, I am gonna be placing three implants in the anterior mandible, evenly distributed. So I've already gone with my, uh, my pilot drill, and now I'm going back with my two millimeter twist drill and, uh, and, and making my, my implant sites. Uh, the one in the middle is sort of gonna be a little bit offset. After I've already done my initial implant preparations with just two millimeter twist drill, now I'm gonna go, go ahead and go back and put my, um, my paralleling pins in. And in the middle, I didn't have an extra paralleling pin, so I just, used a, the, I just used a twist drill itself. And so at this point, I'm evaluating my angle because at this point, it's super important. I can still change angles if I want to. And I also can take an x-ray. Uh, the tip is though, now you, you just remove each uh, guide, each parallel pin, or, or, the, or the twist drill in this case, and you do your implant preps uh, sort of one at a time, right? So right now I'm preparing the one in the middle, and then I put my pin in there, and that helps me keep that angle that I really like. So if I, if I did like that initial angle, I can now prepare the adjacent sites and just follow that middle pin, and I'll keep that same angle throughout the entire surgery. So that really helps you, uh, once you've really established your, um, the angles that you like, that helps you keep those angles, helps you to keep from deviating from that. So now I'm jumping to the other side. I actually didn't put the, the pin back in on the other side because really I'm just using that middle one as my guide. So I'm, I've just prepared all my sights, uh, sort of just vaguely to like four by 10. And at the end here, now I'm gonna go back in, or not even four by 10, I prepped it to like three by 10. Now I'm gonna go back with the final drill. Now that I know exactly what the width is and what the dimensions of that bone are, now I'm gonna go prep to the final drill and then place my implants. So this implant, I'm just kind of like inserting it with my fingers at first, just it's got this little plastic thumb grip on it. Then I'm gonna go back and just uh, torque it all the way down. This is uh, faster than real life, uh, of course. Then I'm gonna go back and drill my other, uh, my last ones with the final, the final drill. Right, so I didn't use I didn't use the final drill till now because now I see exactly what size I want to go to. So placing my middle one now, I'm going to take this one all the way down to the depth, and finally drilling the um, the final drill on the on the patient's right side, and place my last implant here. So this is how the final implants look. It's, uh, it's pretty decent for being freehand. It's not perfectly parallel, but it, it's really close. And I, I do actually fill in that little uh, tooth socket with bone graft anyhow. I went ahead and I put these locators on and I just give them just the most minor torque ever. I'm gonna be replacing some of these later because the tissue is gonna shrink and uh, I really wanna make sure my, my locators are on point, but I'm just jumping the gun, placing some now, and I'll replace some later as needed. Mm -hmm.